Hey YouTube fans, welcome back to my channel. I am Dart and this is Dart's World and today we are making cushion covers and we are using two different colors today and we are piping our cushion and we trimmed this one pink and I've made a second one that is trimmed with a little bit of green so let's go ahead and sew Okay guys, for our cushion, we have three pieces of fabric here. The large piece is 17 and 3 quarters on each side, so it's actually a square. And the two pieces that we have here will be on the next side. And that measures 17 and 3 quarters by 13 on that side. And the reason we have two different sizes is because we want to lap. We want to give this piece at the top a good lap, so we're not going to put on a zip, we're just going to give it a lap at the top. And we are using, for the cording, we are using 70 centimeters and for our strip, 70 centimeters. And um, I have cut my strip on the bias, meaning that I cut it from corner to corner like this. That's what a bias is. All right so let me show you first how i join my strip because i don't have one long piece so let me show you how i join it okay guys let me show you so instead of stitching this piece like this we will turn it this way so we have the right side onto the right side and we will let me show you let me pin it so you can see all right so we will pin it this way I use one more pin pin it all right so when we stitch it it will lay flat like this so let me stitch it and show it to you okay so we have stitch and let me show you how it will fall so remove the excess here right and then it will be straight like this this way we avoid a lot of the bulk so it's easier to work with okay so it's time to add our cording so we will place it in the center of our strip fold it over like this so we have the wrong side inside and the right side outside we will stitch close to the cording and we will use our zip foot for that all right i hope you can see this so let me show you how we do that so our zip foot will take our needle all the way to the cord but not all the way onto the cord all right so it means that we will not be sewing our cord in at all okay guys so this is our cording with our strip so the cord is inside here and let me show you we will add it to our fabric so we place it along the edge and and just pin And we will pin it all the way around and stitch the bias first all right so we will add our strip around the edge of our cushion all the way around and we will pin it in place Okay guys, so we have pinned our piping all the way around and let me show you how I join it here. So we have one piece here and we want to overlap a little bit about here, just overlap. And then we have enough fabric here to cover. So I will pull it back. Mm 
measurement yet. See, two cards meet each other right there. I think I need to remove a little bit more. Let me take off a little bit more. About that. Right? So we have an extra piece coming over. And what I will do. Alright, so I'll fold this under. I'm trying to get a neat edge. Put this piece in. And you remove that. Put this piece in and try to get as smooth as possible edge. And we pin. There you go. And now we will stitch. Okay guys, so I have stitched all the way around. So you see, it is attached. It is now attached. And we need to add our second section to the top, which is this piece here. We will add, but let me show you what we will do first. So for each piece, I will go ahead and fold our edge give it a pretty edge on both sides and after I stitch we will come back and show you how we will fold it let it overlap okay so our edge is finished and we will do both of them just like this and add them to our cushion. All right, so let us add our second section. All right, so if you notice the middle is here and then we have an overlap. So it passed the middle and the second one put it on the next side so if you can see what is happening here so when we stitch the edges we will have this lap it's a very big lap I like when it's you know when it have a deep lap because I feel more confident that it will stay in place all right so we will pin So let us do a little pinning like that. We will pin all the way around before we can stitch. Okay. And after we stitch, we will get a chance to look at our cushion. Okay, guys, so we have pinned our second section to the first section. And if you notice before we stitch, let me show you. This is our lap right here. So when we finish stitching, you will see how it looks from the outside. Okay guys, so I trimmed the edges so it's now nice and neat. And I'll turn it over now. So that's our lap in the middle and this is our front section okay so that's our cushion cover but we gotta put the cushion in there so let's see what it looks like with our cushion Alright guys, 
guys. So that's our cushion. Okay. So tell me what you think. Let's take a good look. And the part that is folded, the lap that is on this side, that is how it looks on that side. So we will put it up like this. Guys, I made one before and the trimming on this one is green. So what I will do, I will make some green cushions, some pink and this beautiful sunshine color and I need to have six in total so hope you like my video give me a thumbs up comment below and let me know what you think bye guys see you next time